Hi and welcome to another 23 Chairs video. Uh, what you're seeing now is my brand new compressor um, and spray gun. I'm very, very happy with this. Uh, you might have seen me on my last video trying out spraying with a spray can. It went really well. Uh, the finish was great, uh, was super quick, super easy. So I thought I would go the whole hog and get myself a compressor so I can just use any old furniture paint to spray the furniture. This bookcase you're seeing now is a lovely solid wood, I think probably walnut. Um, it's a really beautiful wood, but it was painted in a hideously thick layer of black paint. Uh, I think there was also a stain underneath that, so it has already, by the time you're seeing it, had uh, a chemical stripper on it, which took hours and hours of scraping. Um, really harsh chemicals as well, so I had to be super careful with the dogs, I had to be all togged up in my PPE. After that, it's um, then had quite an abrasive uh, electric sander used on it, um, and then a smaller mouse for a little bit more of the detail work. And now we're into the hand sanding. So again, this took many, many hours. Um, I do love a bit of sanding, as you know. Um, <laughs> but it was really, really very stained and the stain was would have been absorbed quite deeply. I mean, you can see on the back there, that kind of black, it just looks really dirty and that, that's what the whole thing looked like even after stripping and even after the, the initial sanding. So there's quite a bit to do here, but it will be worth it, believe me. Hopefully you can see now that beautiful grain really showing through. Now back to another one of my weird hobbies, uh, I'm washing it. So it's obviously very dusty, um, the only real way to get that off is to give it a good wash. So then what happens unfortunately when you wash it, uh, as when you do a first coat of paint you find the same thing, is it just shows up any flaws that you didn't spot before that might have been filled in with little crumbs of dust. So it now gets another sand, um, this is with a really fine sandpaper. So really mainly finishing but just any blemishes that I didn't spot the first time around now getting dealt with. And then obviously we need to wash it again before we can paint it. So what I decided to do with this bookcase was to keep some of it uh, bare board. Now the shelves are just pine, the backboard is um, some sort of laminate, um, not amazingly great looking the pine does look good it's got a really really lovely texture to it obviously being an antique but uh, it doesn't really go with the um, walnut I don't know if it was ever intended to be seen really I guess if it had been stained originally all over then you wouldn't have really noticed the difference but now it's all stripped back you can really see the pine is quite yellow in contrast so what I decided to do was um, mask off certain elements of it and that includes the shelves. Oh, here I am. I've just realized that there are some nails sticking up. So that's just my final bit of prep. And now here we go with the spraying. This is so incredibly satisfying. And was also really fun, actually. <laughs> Very hard to get into those back corners. It was a fairly windy day and the paint is kind of rebounding out of there. So um, Hubs has, giving me a little bit of training because he is quite experienced using a spray gun like this so he was able to give me a little bit of training on how to tweak the settings to try and avoid having it all blow back in my face.
And as I was saying, it was really hard to get it into those back corners. So what I did after the first coat was just popped in there with a brush and just managed to touch up those little bits just to make sure that they didn't get left completely. You know, I didn't want to do, end up doing three, four coats and it still wasn't covering those bits. So here's coat number two. Another really helpfully windy day. And now I'm just giving it a rub down. So spray paint can leave a little bit of texture. Maybe you get a few drips, you get a few lumps you didn't want. So you just have to rub down preferably between every coat um, to get a really good finish. And so I've done that now. And then this is my final coat going on. this bit also quite fun just taking off the masking that I did earlier and now you can really see that lovely contrast between that sort of off-white ivory paint um, and that lovely warm walnut and there's the finished article so uh, apart from a couple of coats of wax on the wood parts which do really bring out the sheen and, and make it look even more special if I'm honest. So I thought while we've got the cream paint out let's do some coordinating chairs. So these are a vintage style, uh, they're not actually that old but because of that curved ladder back top I thought they actually coordinate really nicely with that bookcase, they've got the same kind of styling to them. So here we go as usual washing my chairs. Ew, that's a good one uh, and again they've had a little bit of a sand nothing massive just to make sure there's no uh, deep chips or scratches in the varnish but take away any rough edges just so the paint looks better when it goes on basically and that's the first coat done and now this one's getting a little rub down between coats dogs trying to make it all about them as usual So now just time for the second coat. Uh, these are the seat pads that are getting reupholstered fully. Um, they do have some foam on there, but it's squashed as flat as a pancake to be honest and really uncomfortable. It's but virtually just like sitting on the bare board. So now I'm just cutting out a replacement piece of foam. This is a nice chunky memory foam. Uh, my idea is to upholster these with quite a thick seat pad, make them a bit more comfy looking, a bit more cozy looking. Uh, thinking paired with the bookcase, they'd look great in a hallway, you know, or in the corner of a bedroom. Um, make a little reading area or something, they'd be really nice. So as well as the memory foam, they're also getting a couple of coats of wadding. Um, these are slightly undersized boards, so the, uh, the second coat of wadding needs to actually go fully round the board. Um, otherwise, you get little gaps. I did do one and actually tried it in the seat cushion before I realised this, so this is Mark two. And you might notice at this point that with the extra wadding, uh, there's not that much extra fabric left. So uh, here's Hubs helping out again in a slightly different way this time, not with his handyman skills. And here are the finished chairs. Again, so happy with how these came out. The paint finish is lovely. Um, really enjoying the finish I'm getting from the compressor. Um, and they do look great with the bookshelf. Um, they will definitely make a really nice set if anyone wants to take them all as a set together. So 
also if you're interested in these or any of the other things you've seen me do so far do pop along to my Etsy shop and follow me on Instagram for uh, regular updates and as always thanks for watching